part two. Uh, it's gonna be live. It's gonna be very loud. It's gonna be a roller coaster. It only goes up. The NWO gonna get on the board first. We the first. We the first one gonna score today. Whole lot of D block. You gonna see that land shark chain come out all day. Game time. Game time. One week ago, the Rebel offense hit its stride in a convincing win over Arkansas. Today's challenge, pick up where they left off. Snap to Corral, looks over the middle, slant route, got his man caught at the 40-yard line for a first down as Tylen Knight. Corral zips it complete at midfield, and then some, that'll be a first down. And look at the yards after catch. That's the senior tight end, Octavius Cooley. Hand off to Ely. he has got the first down to 20, still on the speed of the 15 and tackled inside the 10. Quick pass over the middle, slant route, caught at the three, and stepping into the end zone for the touchdown is Elijah Moore. Not to be outdone, the Landshark defense made its presence known early in the matchup. Productive quarterback, they have a lot of confidence in him, and they got confidence to throw a deep ball here, but it's well covered and picked off. Interception, the first turnover of the game. That's Miles Hartsfield, the senior defensive back on the pick. This looking good on that last drive and looking good on a special teams hit. Ball is jarred loose. And Ole Miss has it. On the pocket, crossing route, intercepted by Ole Miss. Picked off and headed the other way is John Haynes, and he'll be upended at midfield. Haynes jumped that route, got the pick. The thrilling roller coaster the Rebels defense was riding seemed to have a seat saved for freshman running back Jerry and Ely. And it's a kick that's going to go to Ely and bounds around the six-yard line near side. He cuts it back toward the middle to the 20, 25. Ely's got the corner. He could go. He's to the 50, down the far sidelines of the 40, to the 30. The freshman's taking this one to the house. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Did I tell you he might take one back? I think I mentioned that on the first one. Right. Right. Hand off to Ely, right up the gut, 25, 30, breaks a tackle, comes to the sidelines, 35, being chased from behind, he's in the midfield, he's got the sidelines, can he go, has a stiff arm, but pushed out of bounds, somewhere around the 30-yard line, what a nice run by Jerry Neely. Richard, he's fun to watch, isn't he? He's shown you another gear a couple of times today. he will feed him again, again Ely making something happen, Ely, touchdown! Jerry on Ely, the true freshman, putting on a clinic here in this first half. Praise the Lord. Hey, what is this? Praise the Lord. The freshman ultimately put himself in the Ole Miss record book with a rookie record of 273 all-purpose yards. But a feisty bunch of Lions clawed their way to a 10-point deficit at the break. First and 10 for Southeast Louisiana at the Ole Miss 14, left hash under center here. Hand off to Cooper, left side, he gets some zone blocking, he's to the five toward the end zone, he's there. Touchdown off the left edge, Marcus Cooper takes it in. Williams made that touchdown drive look easy. Five plays, 57 yards, and just over two minutes of work. Hand off to Williams, breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles, he's to the edge, to the 10, to the five, dives to the pylon, he's got it. Touchdown, southeastern Louisiana. Two missed tackles, and Williams takes it in, and just like that, the Lions are back in it again. You knew southeastern would challenge you, a veteran quarterback, some some weapons on the perimeter. How will you counter that in the second half? Well, we just want to uh, finish drives better, and then defense, we got to get some stops. Uh, you know, southeast, they got some good good skill players on offense. We got to get in here, get it drawn up, and get them stopped. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Every time you walk on the field, it's going to be a damn battle. Everybody walking around here wanting this to be easy. It ain't going to be easy. It's never easy. So you get out there and you fight your ass off. It ain't ever going to be easy. Ever. Never. The second half was an interesting mix. And the Rebel offense came out in attack mode. Pass over the middle and caught between the seams there by Elijah Moore. Corral takes the snap, rolls right, fires downfield to Drummond, catches it, and works the sidelines for a first down to the 47. Yes, sir! I love that drum! Yes, sir! I love the drum! Corral out of the gun on second down. Fakes the toss to Phillips, going to tuck it and run to the 30. And banging ahead to about the 27, right near the marker. Handoff Phillips left side. He's got an opening! Pin 
10, 5, in the end zone, touchdown, Scotty Phillips. It will be way no! Yes, sir! It's so Scotty! But southeastern Louisiana had an answer waiting. Now, this is a team that's going to do some damage in the Southland Conference. Going deep ball as a man. Right into the bread basket, touchdown! Beautiful play to Petit Ferrer. Perfect throw. The score put the visitors within striking distance, and the Lion defense patiently waited for their turn to pounce. Here's the snap. Corral back to throw, dancing in the pocket, in trouble, and trying to get it away, throws. It's going to be batted down. They're going to call this one a fumble, and recovered by southeastern Louisiana at the nine-yard line. A lot of jerseys around him there. And southeastern will now take over inside the Ole Miss 10. Tight end left as well. There's the snap. Virgil wants his tight end, throws the end zone, reaching up to snag it out of the sky is Schwabel. He was set up tight end left, just ran a go route, and got into the end zone, went up and over Lakia Henry to haul it in for six. The complexion of the game had quickly changed, but Matt Corral and company refused to flinch. So far in the second half at Ole Miss, 0 for its last six on third down, a critical third and long here. Corral completes it, and that will be a first down. Yes, sir, E. First down. First down. Right there, he is able to put his mitts on a fastball by Matt Corral, and that's their most important third down conversion yet today. Seven receptions already for Elijah Mori. Another third and long, third and 11. And again, they convert back to back third and longs. This time it's Dontario Drummond for a pickup on the play of 17 yards. In the arm strength by Matt Corral, he rifles that one. What a catch for Jason Pellerin. He took a big blow, too. What a great finish by Jason Pellerin, though. He knows he's going to get blasted. There's a free safety in the middle of the field, and the flag came out immediately for targeting. Converting on crucial third downs, Corral and company were up to the task of salting the game away. And five, they fake it to Connor. Corral, Cox and fires. Whoa. Did he catch it clean? He did. What a grab by Gregory. Con up the middle. He's got it to the 50, the 45. Yes, sir. He's running with a perfect near sidelines to the 30 and then knocked off his feet around the 20-yard line. The Rebels hit him with a run against the blitz, Richard. It worked out beautifully. A pickup of 37 yards. And Luke Logan to kick from the 22, a 32-yard effort. And it is darn near perfect, and that should all but do it for Ole Miss. The Landshark defense was more than happy to help in closing the door. Well, in the backfield in deep trouble, Ryder Anderson's going to sack Virgil back at the 42-yard line. But the Rebels survive and win 40-29. to It wasn't pretty, but we got it done. A win is a win. We got a lot to clean up. I caught it, but God, I dropped it. Nobody, I got, it was Casper, it was a ghost. It was a ghost that got me. It's been a while, but hey, we did it for the tight ends. Broke that dam down, now it's about to flood. Touchdowns, tight ends all year, baby. Let's get it. Hey, gotta go to work. Start tomorrow. Gotta get built on some things. Gotta go one and note this week. Felt amazing. First big game of the year. Hope there's many more to come. Thank you for my whole line. And my kickoff return team, people that flew up. It was all right. Player right. game. Player the game. Number 10 is Aquay Jones. Hey, I told him that, though. He learned that from me. That's my roommate. So this is one of our 12 opportunities that we work all year for, and it's a win. There's no such thing as a bad win. Y'all understand that? We found a way to get it done. Now, I want us to come back tomorrow, man, and let's, let's go fight. Let's go. That, that's not – I'm happy we won, but we, you know what? Talk about that vision. The vision of what we want our team to look like. And no, there's nobody out here that, that wants us to be that, that our vision. And let's go fight. Let's go dig. Let's go scratch and claw. We got a big ass game coming up next week. Y'all understand that? Yeah. And let's come together as a family and let's go get better. Hey, start your Let's start your Let's go. I'm so proud of you, boys. It's just, it's, it's just stepping up week by week. These guys are going to be our side. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. I saw a lot of guys running at me. And I was like, oh, no, I was just like. <laughs>
Yeah. How you hit it off your knee? That was terrible. I, look, 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 Terrible. I saw one block of green grass, got excited, tried to kick it in fourth gear, kick it out of my hand. And I'm just like the little brother. Everybody just, everybody just bigger and taller than me, and I'm just out there like. 